and lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. You do not have because you do not ask. 
You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. Special day for you all. It will be exciting to see your joy and excitement as you all came into the building today and went to your old confirmation room and checked that out and bonded as if 18 months were nothing. So in your life of faith. Today we continue to work our way through the book of James. This epistle, sort of, wisdom literature, yes, somewhere in between, a book written by James, the brother of Jesus, that gives us practical advice for Christian living in community. Individual advice for how to lead a Christian life, life as a disciple of Christ, in the first chapter, and the rest of the chapters are communal advice. What a better way to think about living in Christian community than on a day of confirmation, as we welcome you fully, as we claim the faith you see in baptism for yourselves. What a journey this has been. So I, along with James, ask you, confirmands, and all of you, the faithful gathered here with James, who is wise and understanding among you? Everybody's kind of looking down. <laughs> because we think we have wisdom, we think we know better. Oftentimes, we think we are wiser than our neighbor, I think. <laughs> God's wisdom is, we're from above, pure, peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruit, without a trace of partiality. You have gifts that are yet to be uncovered and discovered and shared and used for the building up of the body of Christ. What do you think of harvest? The gifts you have received from God. Some have bloomed already and blossomed and created much. I'm one that enjoys the beauty of plants. I love to take pictures of plants, but I'm a little bit afraid to try them. I don't know. But they're beautiful. And they look wonderful and tasty. I'm not going to make anyone taste fun. <laughs> the point is, I didn't realize I had this abundance of fruit, this gift from God. You are uniquely created and gifted for God's call on your life, whatever that looks like. Wherever your journey of faith will lead you, that reaches out to the lonely. Did you know that you are a great public speaker? Did you know that God has given you insight and wisdom? Did you know that you are the person that can remain calm? anything. <laughs> Parents, you too. And teachers and administrators. 
when we are facing situations and we don't know how we are going to make it through, God is there. James says, draw near to God and God will draw near to you. Never doubt is peace out. It was sort of tongue-in-cheek because as a pastor we know if he wants to get rid of the church mice, there's a joke to confirm that. As disciples of Christ, called to go out into the world and share all that you have grown to know and learn all the wisdom and understanding from the world that is waiting to hear that message. This morning, when the five of you ran to your confirmation classroom, <laughs> it excited me. All the memories you had in that space. And it reminded me of a time a year ago before I was at peace. Right when the pandemic hit. And we were gathering in our homes and online. And the church looked and felt different. And I toured the church building I was serving. The Sunday school rooms were empty. The sanctuary was empty. The organ was empty. And the excitement and the crafts and all of it. And I was sad. And this is a grief we need to name as the church. A very real thing for all of you who have waited how many months? 18 months. And became tears of understanding and wisdom because the building was empty, but the disciples were deployed. Church is still happening. Amen. Outside. All those Sundays, all those Wednesdays, and where's Ralph? I understand that Ralph is being confirmed today, too. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to take Ralph, right? This is the talking? Oh, my bad. You are equipped for this journey. God is with you. Amen. Draw near to God. May God empower you as you are deployed as God's disciples. May you continue to recognize and acknowledge the fruit and the gifts that God has graced you. And you always out into the world. <laughs> and if somebody does know what to do with grapes, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> you can take some. <laughs> Please stand for prayer. Empower us. Empower your church as decided in this place from places all over creation. Help us to see the gifts that we have in you. Help us to acknowledge the gifts in others. That we may work and love and serve together.
Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit. Oh God, my God, known to me in Jesus Christ, I give myself to you as your own, to love and serve you faithfully all the days of We pray together. Almighty God, who in baptism received these your servants into the church, forgave their sins and promised them eternal life, increase in them the gifts of your Holy Spirit, grant love for others, joy in serving you, peace in the Spirit, patience in suffering, kindness toward all people, goodness to evil faithfulness in temptation, gentleness in the face of opposition, self-control in all things, thereby God of mercies, multiplying grace and peace in you, enable you truly and faithfully to keep your vows, defend you in every time of danger, preserve you to the end, and finally bring you to rest with all the saints in glory and Enable you truly and faithfully to keep your vows, defend you in every time of danger, preserve you to the end, and finally bring you to rest with all. Face of the God of mercies, multiply grace and peace in you. Enable you truly and faithfully to keep your vows. Defend you in every time of danger, preserve you to the end, and finally bring you to rest with all the saints in glory everlasting. Alex, grace and peace in you. Enable you truly and faithfully to keep your vows. Defend you in every time of danger, preserve you. To rest with all the saints in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. We rejoice, O merciful God, with these dear ones in the gift of the Holy Spirit, and in the Spirit's power to awaken us. Keep them steady and abounding in hope, never giving up, pressing toward the goal of life with you in Jesus Christ. By your baptism, you were made one with us in the body of Congregation, we stand. Let us the members of Peace United Church of Christ express our welcome and affirm our mutual ministry in Christ. We promise you our continuing friendship and hope and labors of the Church of Jesus Christ. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit, may we continue to grow together in God's knowledge and love and be witnesses of your people gathered in this local church and rejoice that you have increased our community of faith. Together, may we live in the Spirit, building one another up in love, sharing in the life and worship of the church, and serving the world for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. Applause is appropriate. <laughs> we welcome you to the body of Christ as confirmed members of this church. Thank you. 